I've got a question for you. Are you ready? ready, ready this ready. video was uploaded on Sunday. Sunday. It's time for the ultimate mega carnage that you can only get from video games that feature... Monster trucks. Featuring trucks with tires so massive they could use your Toyota Prius as a... It's the big show with Bigfoot, Barefoot, Wildfoot. What is this? A monster truck rally or a Pornhub video? Megafoot fetish. Trucks so big, masculinity so huge, you'll wonder if they're compensating for something. Big truck, small. Package. And it's all being brought to you right here, right now, by Working Man Games with Stuart K. Riley. You're not funny. Nobody likes you. Go to hell. Woo! Monster trucks. Once upon a time in 1972, a man named Bob Chandler put gigantic ass tires on his brand new truck, and then he put bigger ones, and bigger ones, and bigger ones, and kept doing it until the truck was so massive it could smash regular sized cars. Thus the monster truck was born, and created such a patriotic sport that the only thing more American is if an eagle was shitting out American flags and singing Yankee Doodle, while shooting an AR-15 and grilling hamburgers, and also Hulk Hogan something. And what does a popular American sport sports franchise need? Video games, of course. And who better to review monster truck games than a guy that sounds like he married a monster truck? And where should we start our video game adventure but the best console that Nintendo ever made with the worst library of games a Nintendo console has ever had? We shovelware be damned. The NES had the absolute worst library of games of any Nintendo console that has come out in the history of ever, with about less than 10% of the whole library not being done Donkey doo doo poo poo. Cemented by the fact that even Nintendo at this point doesn't know what games to put on their Switch Online service. I mean, come on, Eliminator Boat Duel? What is that shit? But I digress. That's an egress. You look good in a dress. This was funny for two seconds! Since Bigfoot was the first monster truck ever made, let's look at the first monster truck video game ever made. I think I didn't actually look it up. Bigfoot on the NES. And boys, this one is a doozy. I remember renting this when I was a kid and I hated it. Made by a claim. Oh shit, that's not good. You want to know why that's not good? A claim owned LJN. Why do you think it also has a rainbow? Oh, that music sounds like it could be from Banjo Kazooie. What if I synced it up to it? Okay, let me explain the crazy ass controls of this game. What do you think the control scheme is? A to accelerate and left and right to turn? No. Up to accelerate. B is the brake and A is the items you collect on the road. What's weird is the game automatically scrolls and it pushes you forward. Like even if you're not even pushing anything, the game will push you forward. Also, can we take a minute to admire these sound effects? <laughs> It sounds like a dial-up connection having sex with a chainsaw. <laughs> Combine the fact that the game automatically pushes you forward with the fact that you can barely control the truck to begin with, it's a coin toss whether you're going to win this part or not. But don't worry, it gets better. And by better, I don't mean better. Prepare to race. Oh hell, we got some side-scrolling split-screen going on here. Let me ask you a question. How do you think we control this truck, keeping in mind that the controls are crazy in this game? If you haven't noticed yet, I don't know. Counting every direction on the D-pad, there are eight buttons on the NES control pad. I have pushed them all. What do I do? Did you say tap left and right alternatively extremely fast like a really shitty Mario Party 1 minigame? Well, hot diggity dog, you get a gold star, son. I think the A button does something too, but I have no idea what. This has got to be the absolute worst controls I have ever seen in a driving game in my life. It makes sense that this is on the NES. I've already got a perfectly good three-word review for this game. Prepare to puke. The next game we're going to look at on the needlessly extremely shitty is the Monster Truck Rally. Oh my god, could that be any louder? I gotta give the game this. It's got a lot of different events and race courses you can go through. To be honest, they don't even look like monster trucks. They just look like regular little bitty Toyotas. Anyway, this is a real janky game, and as usual, nothing is explained to you. You're not told that this is a manual transmission, and you're not told how you shift it. You shift it in a weird way. You use the same button you used to accelerate, the A button. Thank God it's the freaking A button this time. So you have to like tap the A button to change gears, and that's not the weirdest thing about this game. 
I would say the weirdest thing about this game is the perspective makes no sense. Yes, it's isometric, but look at the way these hills are lined out. When you get up to a certain point, you can't tell whether you're going left or right anymore. There's no animations for you going left or right when you're going up a hill. Your truck could look like it's going up, but it's actually hitting the left wall or some shit. And when you let go of the accelerator down a hill, you go faster? Ugh, and that engine noise, my god, it's the most horrible droning noise you've ever heard. This whole game is just out to take a Dewalt to your eardrums. Oh shit, here comes a mud bog, time to slang some water and mud, boys. Ooh, ah. Donut track, let's see what this is. Next! Wait, heat two? We have to do this again? The hell we do! Sled pull? Oh shit, I know what this is. Sled pull is an event where a monster truck pulls this big gigantic vehicle that weighs literal tons and the vehicle gets harder and harder to pull because it gets heavier and heavier in the front until the truck can no longer move and that sucker is whining that motor is just making the loudest fucking noise trying to pull that big vehicle one more damn inch to beat the other guys and the winner is the guy who pulled it to the very end the fastest. It is super awesome and I really want to see See how it looks on the NES. That was it? That was fucking boring. I would have had more fun pretending to do it in real life. Roscoe. Hold still, damn it! Tug of War. I hate this one. To the developers who put this in, fuck you, it- In television? Well, it be 17 bombs. There's a finish line on each end of the road, and you're supposed to tow the other truck to the end. But as far as I know, there's no real way to win this. I have no idea what you're supposed to do. I hit the A button, turn left and right, and hope for the best, basically. I've played this event many times trying to figure out how to play it. And even when you finally get a little bit of a push ahead of the truck, it finds a way to outpower you. But then you might just get him again and you'll pull back forward again. And it just goes on and on and on. As a matter of fact, the footage you're watching right now went on for seven and a half minutes. I could have listened to the vast majority of Freebird in that time. But you want to know something funny? He still didn't win because this happened. And the moral of the story is the closer you get to reaching your goal, the more likely the rope will snap and then your two trucks will go away from each other or something. There's a moral in there somewhere, I know it. Before we stop playing this game, I want to tell you about the track editor. Yeah, there's a track editor in this game. That's pretty advanced for NES. It might actually be too advanced for NES because the longer you use this and the more tracks you put, the slower and slower this thing becomes. And God help you if you choose a randomized track because then a random robot will then make its own track for you. And it always makes the longest track it possibly can and by the time it's about halfway through, the game is running so damn slow it's probably going to take about half an hour for it to fucking finish now can we please play another game monster truck madness on the pc okay i've been told by people that this is a good game i've also heard that they also worked on midtown madness 2 which is basically driver san francisco for boomers like me okay let's see all the trucks we have to choose from uh, actually you know what you know what let's just be bigfoot who gives a fuck actual gameplay footage and the first thing i do is somehow how switch my camera to the other truck's camera. I don't know how I did that or why you would even need that. So the second thing I notice is that these are like the smoothest driving monster trucks I've ever seen in my life. They go kind of slow, but they're what? 20 ton trucks with gigantic tires? What do you want? And the third, shut up. And the third thing I noticed, shut up. And the third thing I noticed is I'm in first place. Like, where did the other trucks go? I don't even see the other trucks. Where are they? Well, there you are, you slacker sons of bitches. Get back in the damn race, you idiots. So I did that thing where I looked in the other cameras, and then I noticed that 
when the CPU trucks go off the road, they stop for some reason. And a pterodactyl picks them up, you know, like in real life. My guess is that they give up because they can't deal with my super gamer skills. I guess people do like this game. It's super easy to win because the AI is big rigs over the road racing levels of broke. I tried different trucks, different tracks, saying mean things about its mama, but it still does the exact same thing it did before. They cower in a little corner like some damn pussy. Is this some weird 90s era copy protection DRM shit that I don't know about? Shit. It's kind of sad because I want to like this game. The trucks control okay. That said, I hear there's mods out there to kind of fix this game, but I just wanted to run it how it came from the factory. Now, this game also came to the Nintendo 64 where a lot of shit was added. Better graphics, more tracks, more trucks, more everything. So it's better, right? Uh, I'll just say this. I rented it as a kid and I remember not liking it. Are Apparently Rockstar worked on this. Oh, really? This one has the same song? Like the song that was the only fucking one on the PC version? Black Stallion. Oh, dude, it's got like a vaporwave grid. This game feels like it's a little bit unfinished, kind of. Like they almost got through with it and said, you know what, that's close enough. Let's just throw it out there. It does not have the fluid controls of the PC game, but it has better everything else. The AI actually knows how to stay on the road and races you, and it's kind of a challenge. I didn't add that in. There's buttons to do that for some reason. Now, the music might actually be worse in this one. What? Let me get a better recording. Good girls go to hell? Where do the bad girls go then? Heaven with the dogs? Remember how I made a big rigs joke earlier? Well, you can go completely off of the track and beyond the boundaries. Ladies and gentlemen, you have entered the secret flat zone. Population, absolutely fuck all. It's kind of creepy in the dark. What's interesting is if you hit a corner of the map, like out of the boundaries, it will loop the track and you will pop up on another corner of the map. It like loops you around, which can only mean Rockstar knew that you were going to do this at some point. So they were lazy enough to not put boundaries and more decoration around the track, but they went through the effort to do that. That is so strange. Didn't I tell you to shut up? There's apparently one more version of Monster Truck Madness that's on the Game Boy Advance. Woo-wee! This one's gonna be spicy. Get some water. Well, rip my legs off and call me a roly-poly. This is actually kind of cool. We got a proper 3D map and models draining every bit of horsepower out of that GBA. Whether this game is good or not, it's good on a technical standpoint. This is really impressive. And it runs smoother than Vin Diesel's head after Turtle Wax. Oh my god, I'm getting Duke's PS. S2 flashbacks. You have a yeehaw button. As far as the racing goes, it's pretty solid, I'd say. If I had this on the Game Boy Advance, I would be pretty satisfied with it. Gosh, I've got some more Monster Truck games on Game Boy Advance. I hope they're as good as this one was. Oh, Jesus, God, no. Monster Trucks on the Game Boy Advance isn't very good. First of all, there's no music and there's barely any sound effects, at least on the menu. In the race? Oh, they changed that in the race. You want to see it again? Of course you do. Look at it, everybody. Look and be amazed. And don't listen very hard because this is a very loud game. What's that? You want to hear it? Ugh. Okay, where do I begin dissecting what is bad about this game? I mean, look at it. Look at these really crappy sprites, if you could even call these sprites. They're just really crappy JPEGs of a monster truck. And they recolored it to make it look like there's more of them. This whole game looks like if you turned your YouTube video to 144p. Seriously, turn the video quality to 144p and then watch this video. See if it looks exactly the same. And did you notice around the tires, there's still the background of whatever image they cropped out? You know, normally I would say, well, maybe this is a proof of concept or maybe this is a tech demo and it was never intended to be a commercial game. No, this is a commercial game. This was put on a cartridge. Do I even need to mention the fact that every time you jump on a ramp, you crash immediately when you go back down? See there? I just turned upside down for absolutely no reason. There's people trying to sell this for $10, and those people need to be shot. This is one of those games that's so bad, I feel bad about making fun of it. 
like a, a mentally unstable child came up to me and showed me a picture they drew, and I slapped them and called them a shit-eating cock goblin. This game is that. I can't look at it anymore. Let's move on. Monster Truck Wars on the original Game Boy. Oh, come on, guys. Making fun of original Game Boy games is too easy. It's like making fun of Atari 2600 games. They can't help that they're so primitive. Oh, a claim? Well, that's different. Oh. Oh, damn. You really gotta use your imagination in this game. Which monster truck is which? And I swear I've played a game just like this before. You know, I'm not even gonna joke about it. It's Micro Machines. I mean, look at it. It's just Micro Machines. I might as well just review Micro Machines. Well, okay. Micro Machines is okay. It's not bad. It just makes me feel like I could be playing a better game. There, I just reviewed two games at one time. Go me. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna double down on that. There is a fuck ton of monster truck games on the Nintendo Wii and none of them are good enough or bad enough to warrant a decent review on each one. Just know that if you get a monster truck game for the Wii, you are wasting your time. The only one I recommend is Bigfoot King of Crush. That one had some solid controls and pretty decent gameplay. It also had this feature where you could hold down a button and turn the back wheels with your front wheels so you would turn sharper than normal. It was really cool. I would imagine playing that with a Wii wheel is really fun. I want to say that I saved the best for last, but you know I didn't. You know that really bad GBA monster truck game we just played? They made another one on the DS and it's just called Monster Trucks. Okay, how about this music for one thing? When I think Monster Truck, I don't think electronic dance music. The music I think of when I think of Monster Trucks is 70s, 80s boomer rock. And if you notice, that low draw distance certainly ain't doing wonders for that frame rate. Again, this is a game that somebody sold for money. I feel bad for little Timmy who got this for Christmas and was like, It is now obvious that my parents do not love me anymore. You know who else doesn't love you anymore? Really, I'm asking. I want to pry into your private life because I'm mean like that. In fact, I am mean. I, I, I am mean. No, 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 no. Doggy, we have finally reached the tail end of it. And here we are with my commentary that I like to put at the end. Well, what, where do I even begin? I mean, it, it took me five months to make this video. If you don't know why it took five months to make this video, you haven't looked outside or watched the news lately. That's all I'm gonna say. Guys, stress and anxiety is bad, okay? And so is losing your job and having to learn to live on less. It's been a rough few months for us, but it's been rough for everybody, so I don't feel like I can complain about it because everybody else is going through the same problem. So with that said, I'm sorry the video took so damn long to make. I don't know if that will happen again. I'll try to make it not happen again. But here we go. The video's done. It's finally here, and I feel so good about it. So here we go. Shout out to my patrons. My heart goes out to y'all because for some reason, y'all believe in me. So a big Stuart K. Riley thank you to Project Godzilla, Rush Nerd, Shibazen, Vavian, Commissar Elusive, and Vertaro. Thank y'all so much for pledging to me. Yo guys are awesome. So everybody have a great day. We're still alive. We ain't dead yet, and we ain't going yet. And neither am I. See y'all on the next working man.